Hey guys, it's Upsu back here for an MC Mod Gen tutorial. I'm just going to be going through the basic process of setting up a mob and mob, I mean mod, recompiling it with Minecraft Quarterback. I will not be going through all the advanced features of MC Mod Gen, just the basics. So, first thing we're going to do is throw our bin and resources folder, which you can find under your app data folder. And I'm going to go ahead and do decompile, minimize that, and run it in the background. Now I'm going to switch over to my browser here. And I've already opened up the add a new project screen. So, we're going to add a new project. We're going to call it um, sausage biscuit because I had a really good sausage biscuit this morning. And if you're gonna give me that error, I still figured out what's wrong with it. And let's just add one block and one item for this. So let's call our block um, biscuit. And for the tooltip, um, biscuit. That was a hard one. Actually, I don't like capitalizing. Java, you know. I'm spelling biscuit wrong, aren't I? I don't remember. Oh well. And for the texture path, um, if you open up here, you can see it's going to throw it automatically. It's going to throw the texture under the a uh, folder with your mod, which is basically if you want to add another folder, you just type in the folder name. I'm going to call it blocks, and then slash, and biscuit.png, which will be my graphic file. And I will be showing you how to make the graphics. Now, block drop. That's what I want it to drop. I'm just going to leave it blank because I want it to drop itself. Hardness is how hard this block is going to be to break, and I don't really want it to be that hard, so I'm going to make it two. Resistance is resistant to explosions, and biscuits should be invincible. So this is this is T and this is obsidian here, and this is bedrock. At least it was back whenever I originally made MC Majin, but it still works. Drop amount. Um, I just want to make it drop one. Block ID 200. Light value. Urgh. Uh, let's just do zero and we're gonna have it drop a block it's just gonna drop itself um, we're not gonna have a gravity effect and we're just gonna make it ground which is basically dirt and we're not gonna have it generate with the world because that's not really important so we're gonna enter create class it's gonna say block added return to project manager and then we're gonna add a new item and we're gonna call this sausage and tooltip sausage Sprite name. Arrgh. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard. Ready? Ready? Items. Sausage. Oh yeah. Oops. oops. Sausage. PNG. Item ID. Uh, let's do something really high, like nine thousand. Stack amount. Let's just make sixteen. And then heal amount. Four. Now, update. It says update there right now. I just realized that. Okay. So we're going to add a smelting recipe for this. Oops. Oops. Oh, I failed. I failed. We're not going to add that because I need to reuse smelting recipes at some point. They, they work. They just don't do exactly how I like it. Okay. So. This is how recipes work. Imagine this is your 3x3 three three crafting grid. We're just going to do it right here in the middle. We're going to do Q, W, Q. Okay. And every time I put in Q up there, I'm going to do make Q item... I hope it's just bread. I don't remember. W. And then I'm going to do mod sausage biscuit, which is for custom blocks and items that I've added. And then I'm just going to do sausage. So every time it sees W, it's going to put in this. Every time it sees Q, it's going to put in bread in the code. So we're going to add recipe. It's added. Return to project manager. And that's it. Well, it's not it for this tutorial, but it's it for it. So then we hit download zip. And and just have it downloaded to the default folder. And look, all my patchy stuff. Okay, we're just gonna cut this over to our desktop and extract. We delete the zip archive. Then this is done decompiling. Close that. We go into files, and there's all our files from the mod. Let's flip back over to MCP, SRC, Minecraft, Net, Minecraft, SRC. And we're just going to copy, close this, go over here, paste. We're going to go back to the main folder, with the root of this, and hit recompile. And assuming I didn't screw up inside the web program, this will recompile correctly. It takes a minute, it's not instant. Look, I messed up. There we go. Cannot find sausage. 
What? That's because I put sausage wrong, didn't I? Let's see what we did wrong. Yep, I did. I messed up. I explained this over and over again inside my program, and yet I still make this mistake. So we're gonna go in at this manually. Like I say this like all over my program. They have to remember to do this, but I always forget still. So any custom item, it adds an M underscore prefix before it. You have to do that when you're doing recipes. Remember that. I see that mistake all the time on the forum. Now, recompile. I don't think I did that right, actually. Well, maybe. I don't remember. I didn't, I didn't pay much attention right then. Recompiling. Done. Okay. So, then we're going to hit reobfuscate. And while that's going, I'm going to go ahead and start up Photoshop, get it going. Going here. I do have a legitimate copy of Photoshop. Alright. And, oh, it's going to be laggy here for a second. Oh, I can't click right there because the fraps are... Okay. That's all I've done. Okay. Um... I just get the hotkey for bringing up your menu. Is it Alt Shift. Um. There it goes. Good boy. So we're gonna do a new 16 by 16, and our standard resolution. Lots of programs don't have that option. This is gonna be our sausage, and let's just make it look nice and sausagey. Mmm. Sausage is usually like a really, really dark brown. So. Oh, that's not really a great color, but okay. So we're just gonna go pretty basic here because I don't want th this is not the important part of the tutorial. Oops, my feathers on. This is not an important part of the tutorial, really. But I want to do this. Okay, I'm just gonna add a. Which I'm not gonna do that. Okay, filter noise. Add noise one. And then new layer. I'm just gonna put behind and. Put that there. Do a darker brown. I want to have kind of a border to it. And then add noise. And that is going to be our sausage. I know it is not the best sausage in the world. But it is sausage. So look at all my graphics shops this month. Okay. Desktop. And let's just go in here. Sausage.png. And then I'm actually just going to merge these. New layer. Just didn't want to create two. And it's gonna be the block, so it doesn't need to cover all of it. So, um this is not a really great bun color, but it'll do. Got some nice buns there. Yeah, now I'm the creeper. Alright, so edit. And if you've never used Photoshop, you probably have no idea what I'm doing. Oops. Transform the vertical, but don't worry about it because it's not that important. To if you want to know how to make graphics, we'll find another tutorial. And there we go. It looks kind of uh, looks like a butt with crap going out center. No, not at all, actually. But you know, okay. And I called the other one just biscuit. No, I'm pretty sure it takes full biscuit. Uh, I'm not. I'm not sure anymore. There we go. Okay. So now. All you need to do is go into your reob folder, or it stands for reobfuscate. Drag these classes into your Minecraft.jar with these images, which will be under a folder called Sausage Biscuit, or whatever you named your project. Then one of them is going to be under Blocks. The other one's going to be under Items. I will go ahead and drag these in. Biscuit is a is the block, and Sausage is the item. That is it. Now all I would have to do is drag this into my Minecraft jar and then go in here and grab these and throw them into my Minecraft jar. Or because this mod doesn't edit any Minecraft default classes, it should work properly if you throw it in your mods folder under a zip archive. Alright everyone, thank you everyone for watching. Hope this tutorial has been helpful and I'll see you next time.